Okay, um, so here we are given that we have O, which is a center. Now, this is strange because we are dealing with two circles. So O, it's a center, and then it's a center of the big circle, as we said. So if you look at O, O is going to be the center of the big circle. So once you have a center here, it means you are going to have a line from the center uh, to a circumference. And then you can also have a line from the center to a circumference, which we call a radius, okay? Now, yes. this one and this one, they are going to be equal. Now, if you have an angle at center, we just want to know who created the angle at center. Who created the angle at center then? Yeah, who created the angle oh, at center? It's RP. It's RP, no? so, Now, is there any other angle created by RP? Yes. It's what? It's T1. It's T1. Then we will say, okay, this angle and this angle, they are going to be twice each other. So I will say, okay, it means this one here is going to be two times T1. I get yes. And then the reason here will be angle at center. So I'm just summarizing here because they said which we have a cent. Some of the things you'll see, I won't write them. Some of them I'll write them. Okay. On the right circle again, they say we have four vertices. So we have T, we have R, we have P, and then we also have what? A. Mm. Now, if you can check here, all these lines are connected. Okay? Then it makes this thing here to be a cyclic quadrilateral. I'll also highlight that one. Like, OP is a diameter of the small circle, very important. So now we are moving to something else. We say OP, it's a diameter. So we have O to P, which is a diameter to the small circle. So let's see the small circle. So the small circle is this one here. Uh, let's check the points that are at the circumference on the small circle. The points that are at the circumference on the small circle, it's point P, S, and O. So you have P, you have S and O. So it means that you don't have a cyclic part here. Yes. So you have a triangle. So, and then they said, which this one, this here, it's 90 degrees because they're telling us which OP is a diameter. For the fact that OP is a diameter, it means that they are giving us this angle here. So this here is going to be 90. And then I will tell them which it's angle in half a circle again. Yes. Okay. And then the other thing that they gave us, they gave us which we have NP, which is a tangent again. And then they're saying NP is a tangent to both circles at P. So let's come and check here. So we have an NP. Uh, I will use a different color for that one. So we have NP, which is a tangent. Now, if NP is a tangent, we need to come and check here. Or would you, do we have an angle between a tangent and a chord? And then which chord are we talking about here? Okay? So do we have an angle between a tangent and a chord? Yes. Okay, which chord am I talking about here? It's RP. Yeah, RP. Guys, look at the following. RP, it's a, it's a chord to the big circle. It's not a chord to the small circle. So this is going to be an angle between a tangent and a chord. If we have an angle between a tangent and a chord, we want to check if there's any other person who's subtended by RP. Is there any other person subtended by RP at the circumference? That's very important. Eh? At the circumference. Do we have any other person subtended by RP at the circumference? T1. T1. Yes. It makes this angle to be equal to X. I get this one, it's X here. Yeah. And it makes this one to be X. And then we say here we have tan Code. theorem. Yeah, we'll just say tan court here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we are told the other thing that we have Rn, which is perpendicular. So we have Rn, which is perpendicular to Nr. So they're giving us which this year is 90 degrees. That's, that's why they are saying that. Okay. Now that we are done with the given statements and then we've highlighted almost everything that we need, I want us to go through the circle then. I want to put this aside. And then let's... let's Let's, let's, let's start with our question. Now, if we go to our question, our question says which we should prove that PR, let's go and look at what they're talking about. They're talking about this line here, which is P and R, okay? And then this PR, it's not a tangent, it's just a line. So they're saying this line here, PR, you should check, you should prove that it bisects this angle R. Now, what do you understand by the word bisect? Hot? What does it mean, bisect? Cuts into equal. So it cuts into equal parts. In other words, so if we're going to write our RTP, this is our RTP now. Our RTP is that we need to prove that R1 is going to be equal to R2. That's what they're asking you to prove here in other ways. They're saying prove that PR bisect ORN. So they're required to prove, you are required to prove that R1 is equal to R2. R2. Okay. Now that we've got that, then we want to get 
R1, we also want to get R2. Whatever values that we get using the given angles. Remember what our given angles? The given angle that we're given is X and then we're also given what? 90. So we want to get R1 and R2 in terms of these two given angles. That's our goal. Yes. Uh, so the first person that I think we can get, if we look at the following triangle, we have triangle in triangle R and P, okay? In triangle and R and P, you can say which R1 is going to be equaling to this angle plus this angle plus this angle, they're going to give us 108, okay? Yes. And then if they give us 180, we should which here, we're going to say R1 is going to be equaling to 180 degrees minus, uh, minus 90, minus X. And then if they ask us why are we saying this, we'll say we have some of angles in a triangle. So it means in other words, R1 is going to be equal to 90 minus X again. So this one here is 90 minus X. So this is going to be 90 degrees minus X. So it means in other words, now our goal is simple. Now, I agree this one is 90 minus X again. It's just to prove which R2 is also going to be equal to R2. Uh, 90 minus x. That's what we want to prove. Okay, I'm going to give this to Hotz. How did you prove this? Then Hotz, would you say this R2 is 90 minus x9? Okay. So then, <clears throat> firstly, I get a really parking t1 or get x again. Okay, let's do that. So Hotz is saying he did the following. Uh, he said t1 is equaling to x again. Yes. And then the reason why we said that is because we have tan and court, court theorem. theorem. Okay. 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 So this is x So we get it. Okay. Sharp, what's, what, what's the next thing? So then the other thing that we know that L O is the center again. So then therefore RT is a diameter. Uh, you're saying? Because O is the center. O is the center. Then RT is to the bigger circle, guys. Uh, it's a diameter. It's not just a diameter, but it's a diameter to the biggest circle. Okay, uh, if this one, it's RT the diameter, so what then did you say? Therefore, I said P2 plus P3 equals to 90 degrees. So, angle in half cycle. So, what I'm saying, which this angle here is also going to be 90 degrees. So, we'll put that there. We'll say, okay, we have P2, P2 plus P3 is equaling to 90 degrees. And then the reason is because we have angle. We are required to prove that O1 plus O2 Based on what they're saying, I agree it's R O S. So if we talk about R O S, we're talking about this angle here, which is O1 plus O2 again. Then you are saying this yes. should be equaling to uh P A T, which is ten. This angle here. So this should be equaling to A again. Yes. Okay. How did you go about doing that, Kitchen? I want to hear that then. Um, RTPA is a cyclic quad. Yes. So angle R2 and angle R2 and angle A. Plus A? Angle A. Plus angle A, and, Yes. That equal to 108, ne? Yes. And then you said it's opposite angles of a cyclic quad. Okay, I get that chain. So um, after that, you got, uh, I think let's let's just write which what did you get as A? You got A to be 180 degrees minus, again, and then it's going to be minus 90 minus X, again. And then if you continue with this, it says which you are going to have 90 degrees uh, plus X. So it means what your goal manager is just to prove which O1 plus O2 is going to be equal to 90 plus X. Okay. Uh, how did you prove that, Yetin? I got the first part. I can you say angle um uh angle O one angle O one yeah I'm listening is two x angle O one is two x let me write that let me write that let me write that let me write that uh so you are saying I should say angle O one is going to be equaling to two x and then let me get at center is twice angle at what what. So angle at center is going to be equal to two times angle at 
circumference. Circumference. Okay, I got that. Thing. What What did you do after that? It's all right. That's correct. And this then... one's what? This one. Oh, yeah. You want to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's 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 try it. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it. So you want to say to me, okay, you have t one, which is equivalent to x, okay? And then you want to say yes. this is equivalent to p three, okay? again. So yes. okay, you are saying t one is going to be equivalent to three. Oh, it's going to be equivalent to p three, which is equivalent to x. And then what is your reason here, Jane? Then. Uh, uh, angle. Angles opposite equal sides. Okay. Okay, I get you, Jane. Um, angle. so this is X. Yeah. Angle what do you want to what? Huh? And and then angle. And, yeah. You see, and triangle OPS. Okay? Yes. Okay, this is 90, this 90 is X. Okay? Yeah, so this angle here, you will say, okay, O2. O2 is going to be equal to 90 degrees minus X. And then when they ask you why, they, why, why are you saying that? It's because in triangle OPS. So you have in triangle OPS. Then you will say which you have sum of angles in a triangle. Okay, now that you know this mm -hmm. one, Yeti, you, you know this one, this one here, it's 90 degrees minus X, okay? Yes. And then let's go back to what you already know. When you already told me which O1 plus O2, they are equal to angle ROS. You remember that, okay? That's what you told me yes. from the beginning, okay? Yes. What is O1 according to you? 2x. You said this is 2x again. Okay? Plus, what is O2 again? Okay? 90 minus x. It's 90 minus x. So it means with the angle R, O, S. This one and this one, they are like terms again. Okay? Yes. And then it gives us 90 degrees plus x, which is going to be R, O, S. Now, this one and this one, they are equal. Therefore, it means mm -hmm. we have proven which these two lines are what are equal. As you can see, this is five marks. You can see five marks. Eh? 